In the wake of World War II, the stage was set for a monumental clash of ideologies in Palestine. The Arab rejection of Jewish statehood was not merely political but deeply rooted in religious fervor. The concept of jihad, sanctioned by Islamic principles, fueled the Arab Muslim resistance against the establishment of a Jewish state. Leaders across the Arab world, from Iraq to Saudi Arabia, invoked Islamic duty to incite their people to jihad against the Jews in Palestine. This wasn't a modern phenomenon. It had deep historical roots, dating back to the early 20th century and even beyond. Religious scholars and political leaders alike framed the conflict as a religious obligation for all Muslims, portraying it as a struggle to defend Islam against the perceived encroachment of Jewish sovereignty. As tensions mounted, Arab leaders orchestrated the exodus of Arab Muslim inhabitants from Palestine, urging them to temporarily evacuate until the Jews were defeated. This deliberate displacement, far from being a forced expulsion by the Israelis, was a strategic move intended to garner Arab support and facilitate military operations against the fledgling Jewish state. The myth of a Jewish-driven exodus was perpetuated to galvanize Arab sentiment and justify their subsequent actions. However, historical accounts reveal a different truth. Arab leaders actively encouraged their people to leave with promises of swift victory and the opportunity to reclaim their homes once the Jews were vanquished. Despite the best intentions of the United Nations and proponents of the two-state solution, the fundamental obstacle remained unchanged. Islamic doctrine and the deeply ingrained belief in the sacred duty to resist Jewish sovereignty in any form. The failure of the UN partition plan was not due to diplomatic shortcomings, but rather the uncompromising stance of Arab Muslim leaders, rooted in centuries-old religious convictions. Today, as calls for a two-state solution persist, it's imperative to Acknowledge the historical and theological underpinnings of the conflict. Ignoring the enduring influence of jihad ideology and religious supremacism only perpetuates the cycle of violence and hinders genuine progress toward peace.